हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर आर बी कुशवाहा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिवीजन ऑफ वेटनरी क्लिनिकल कॉम्प्लेक्स एफ बी एस सी एन ए एच एट स्कॉस जम्मू वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल एंड इफ़ यू आर न्यू टू माई चैनल सो कैंडली सब्सक्राइब द चैनल एंड हिट द बेल आइकॉन फॉर द फर्दर नोटिफिकेशन टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिमोस्ट्रेट यू हाउ टू टेक नॉर्बर्ग एंगल फॉर द डायग्नोसिस ऑफ द हिप डिस्प्लेसिया इन डॉक्स दिस इज द एक्सटेंडेड वेंटो डॉसल व्यू ऑफ वन ईयर ओल्ड गोल्डन रिट्रीवर डॉग सोइंग द साइन ऑफ द हिप डिस्प्लेसिया वी हैव टेकन द एक्सटेंडेड वेंटो डॉसल व्यू ऑफ द बोथ हिप ज्वाइंट्स although the femoral head is looking uh, within the stabular cavity particularly this right one so but uh, it is very difficult to say unless and until we take the norberg angle so norberg angle very helpful in diagnosis of the hip dysplasia so this is the cr system to in cr system there is software to take the norberg angle so you could see here the different uh, uh, measurement so i select this hip dysplasia so now i take the first uh, the diameter of the right side of the femoral head starting from the center of the this uh, femoral head so this one and then mark at the cranial stabular ring similarly we take the diameter of the left side of the femoral head and then mark at the cranial edge of the stabula so now it gives the picture of the uh, norberg angle the norberg angle in case of the right side of the hip joint it's 104.3 whereas in case of the left side in 94 so if you compare uh, with the normal value which should not be less than 105 degree so it means this dog is dysplastic particularly the left side of the femoral head is dysplastic although this value is less than the 105 but you can keep uh, as a normal the clinical sign the dog also showing the uh, lameness in the left side of the hind limb so th this is how uh, you could measure the norberg angle on the cr system suppose if you don't have the cr system so you can measure by putting the trace paper over the radiograph and just take the diameter of this and this and align from center of the this right to the center of the left and then uh, make a line coinciding the this cranial edge and then measure the angle so in that way you can also measure if you don't have the software but one thing is very very important before measuring the this norberg angle that the both femoral head should be extended and these are parallel to each other otherwise if the both femora are not parallel to each other so uh, you may get the wrong value so thank you very much for uh, watching this video and if you like this video so kindly share with your friends and uh, if you have not subscribed the channel so kindly subscribe the channel and don't forget to hit the bell icon for the further notification thank you very much